Hi, sis. Hi, Hi. family. We're on lesson 262 entitled, Let Me Perceive No Differences Today. Let me perceive no differences today. Father, you have one son, and it is he that I would look upon today. He is your one creation. Why should I perceive a thousand forms in what remains as one? Why should I give this one a thousand names when only one suffices? For your son must bear your name, for you created him. Let me not see him as a stranger to his father, nor as stranger to myself. For he is part of me, and I of him. Oh. And we are part of you, who are our source, eternally united in your love, eternally the Holy Son of God. You know, Jesus gave me that prayer, and I hadn't read Lesson 262 before I'd received it, and it was just, that just kind of hit me upside the head, guys, so... Remember when I shared with all of you, I in you, and you in me, and we in him? Mm. Yeah. So there it is. It there just, it is. Yeah, just f feeling it. Yeah. That's it. Thank you. Yeah, it's beautiful. We who are one would recognize this day the truth about ourselves. We would come home and rest in unity, for there is peace, and nowhere else can peace be sought and found. I always love love's and wisdom's plan for salvation, its perfection, that we cannot know ourselves until we're willing to perceive every single brother without exception as one with us. And the way that the ego prevents this holy encounter, this holy memory to arise, is by the use of judgment and appearances through the body's physical senses of differences. Now, while we believe our senses, we're going to be idolizing and consenting to the thought of differences based on our judgments, based on a false past, based on what we think we know, and none of it's real. He says, every single encounter is holy. As you see yourself, so shall you see your brother. But when we decide I truly am sinless and I am one with my brother, he says the sight of loveliness that will arise to, to greet our vision will make us cry because in his loveliness we recognize our own. So we're just being asked to forgive all differences, forgive all judgment. That means letting go of the stories that you're reading in the media. You're forsaking what your senses are telling you. You're clinging to God in his one view of his perfect creation. You're honoring God. You're believing without seeing. Blessed are you who believe and have not seen, knowing that it must be there. It's what Jesus saw. And when we give that perfect gift of love, despite what physical sense is telling us, that's the breakthrough. That's when vision is granted us. But first, we've got to do our part about, I don't want this anymore. It's not true. My brother is one with myself. I would know myself in you. I would know myself in you. That's perfect love. Right in. Yeah.
He has one son and we're it. Thank you, family. Let us perceive no differences today. We'll see you next time, family. Thank you. Thank you, sis. Mm -hmm. Thank you, family.